Jana Potski Varnog, Siastok, Ujizelek, Budapest. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Budapest. We're in Vorotz Matsitir, right in the heart of the city centre. Tier is the Hungarian word for square. And what we're going to do in today's video, we're going to explore the oldest metro line on mainland Europe. It's Budapest Metro Line 1, and that is the entrance, just down those steps. That will take us down to the platform, and we'll catch the train off in that direction. Just over there, that's the, the exit from the platform if you'd come in from the city that way you come out there so let's go down and explore the oldest metro line in mainland Europe right here we are down in the station now most of the stations not all the stations have this lovely character them the tiles and the girders and as I said we are literally just below the street and here is one of the trains I think these trains are really quite cute they are quite small it is standard gauge but the trains have to be small to fit the loading gate. I can just hear one coming round the corner. So yeah, that one's just arrived into the um, into the exit platform. So you can't board a train there. They go into the sidings and then they'll come out here. So this line it opened in 1896. Of course, we all know London was the first city in the world to build a metro system. That was the um, that was opened in 1863, and it was steam. This was electric, and then not long after, Glasgow followed, and Glasgow followed with a cable system. So we started with three very different metro systems. I think the train's going to depart. I'm going to get on the next one. There it goes. Watch it go. And it's now a lot quieter. So what we're going to do? We're going to go. The next station is Diak Ferencztér. Um, the reason we're going to get out there is that is a station that's not original because it was for a long time the only interchange station on the Budapest Metro. In the mid 50s when they began to build Metro Lines 2 and 3 they realigned the track at Diak Ferenc here so it's a more modern station and that provides interchange with Metro Lines 2 and 3. So what I'm going to do is wait for a train to arrive and then we'll go to Diak Ferenc here. After Diak Ferenc here we're going to continue along the line we're going to go and find some abandoned sections because it has been rerouted and we're going to go right to the other end. The reason they actually built this line was because they wanted to build a tramway along Andrasi Utsa and Utsa is the Hungarian word for street but they wouldn't allow it so that's why they resorted to building this underground which I think is fantastic and just hear another train coming round the corner so I'm not sure what's going to come in first whether the train's going to come in on that side or is our, our train's coming out the side um, which way do I look? I don't know which way to look we've got our train number 31 these are built and there's the other one these are built by Gons so it's the Hungarian built trains in Hungary I think they're I made a video once called Glasgow has the cutest metro trains ever I think these are certainly close second maybe they're not quite as cute as Glasgow but the whole line has an amazing charm now in a minute this is here we are it's interior of the carriage we're going to hear one of my favorite phrases when um, when the doors close and they start talking you know like in London we have mind the gap we're going to hear what Budapest has to say instead of mind the gap it's, it's quite amusing I just said, Kerem Vizyagonok as Oitag Zaragnok, so that means please be careful, the doors are closing. So Kerem is please. Uh, and then we get in English. I was going to say, it said welcome on board. So, yeah, they're basically saying welcome on board to Metro Line 1 and we're going to Mexico. We're going to get off at one or two other stations on the way because I want to show you some more of the network. So, as I said, the next station, Diak Ferenc here, it's been realigned. Now, the original platform, if you can't go there today, unfortunately, they're a museum. I really recommend visiting a museum there and you can see some of the original metro trains which ran on this line. So here we are, just coming into Diak for instance here. Um, so if you have a look out the window, if you look out there, you can see that it's not quite so charming as what we saw there. It's a more modern metro station. There's no ticket barrier, so you can see the lady out there. She'll check your ticket as you come in. 
and those uh, machines there, those yellow machines, they're validators. So it's an open system. Um, so here we are, we're leaving the yeah, for entity here. We're going to go back onto the old alignment. Oh, there are stations, lit, well, less than, probably less than half a mile, there's a station, they really are quite common. So we're now on the, on the mid-1950s alignment. We should quite soon rejoin the original alignment. I don't know how obvious it's going to be, but that's why we've got the curves. Door going off there, um, so maybe behind these walls somewhere was the original alignment. So the train, the, the line went as I said, we're now running beneath Andrasi Utsa. It would have gone to um, the baths, the thermal baths in Budapest, the very well known. But it originally had a surface line, but when they extended to Mexico, Ut, they rerouted it. So here we are, we're just coming into station. So there we are, that's what station it is, and you can see we've got the um, got the charming tiled station. Once we pull out this station, I'm just going to ride on to Hossops here. When we get to Hossops here, we're going to get out, we're going to go and find the abandoned original route of this metro line. I'll let you can see out the window. There goes our train, we've just arrived at Husuk Tere. What we're going to do, we're going to go and see where the line, um, you know, where it used to go, and then we'll have a look at where it goes now. So, ahead, the line from here is the newer alignment built in the 1970s. What we're going to do, we're going to find our way out of here just while we're here. Look, we've got these lovely tiles. So, these are a feature of all the stations on the original line. As I said, Diak Ferencdia didn't have one. Um, and then beyond here, because the stations are more modern, we'll have to see what they're like. I have done this line before, but it was quite a while ago I last did this line, so um, it's, it's like I'm rediscovering it. We're going to come up here, up to Hossoxera. So, um, Hossoxera, Hero Square, it's probably one of the most famous uh, sites in places in Budapest. It's just in front of us when we get out, out of here. Here we are, there you go, look, there is Hero Square. Over there, so what we're going to do, we're going to go. We're not really here to see Hero Square, but we're going to have to go across it somewhere over there. We should find where the line used to go, used to come out from underground for its surface section. I have seen old pictures of trains with the Hero Square in the background. Oh, and uh, to add to the transport interest, uh, not this coach, but look, we have trolley bus wise, uh, and there's a trolley bus there. Budapest does have quite a big trolley bus network or should I say Pest has quite a big trolley bus network because there are actually no um, the trolley buses do not go over the Danube onto the Buda side so is it come forward? Yeah, but here we are here's trolley bus 9117 I'm now going to negotiate the busy road and get across to Hero Square I haven't negotiated that busy road yet. Uh, before I go too much further, I just want to show you. This is Andrasi Utsa, um, the road which they wouldn't let them build a tramway along, hence why we have Metro Line 1 in the first place. The funny thing is, it's really quite wide, so it seems a bit ironic that they wouldn't let them build a tramway on it, but you know, it's those quirk of fates. They wouldn't allow one thing, so you end up with something else. Anyway, uh, from here we get a much better view of Hero Square. I'm going to go across and see what I can find. Here we are, we're now on the other side of Hero Square. And what we're going to have a look for is try and find where the railway line used to surface. It's not very obvious, but believe it or not, it was here. It came out the ground here. so. You've got the Hero Square behind you, and where are, are bit, I'm, where I'm standing is about where the roof of the train would have been. As I say, it's not particularly obvious that this was once part of Metro Line 1, but what does make it a bit more obvious is if you look this way. There's a bridge. So that bridge is what the railway line would have run, and, run under. Um, so, you know, obviously it's just a footbridge giving people an opportunity to get from one side of the railway to the other. And if we have a look down here, there's some pictures. So, look, there you go. 
So you can see the Hero Square behind us, which if we turn around, there it is. And here we can see the bridge itself. So that's, yeah, that's looking in that direction. Um, so what we'll do, is something, a couple things I want to show, let's go up onto the bridge. I feel, you know, it's part of the history of the line. We should have a look up here. So this is up on the bridge. Trains would have come out of there, run along under here, and they would have continued off around there. So what I thought we'll do, I'm going to follow the route of the line just to see where it went. But before we go um, down there, there's something down here which I wanted to show you. If we go along here, well, we get the classic view looking back towards Hero Square where the railway went. Somewhere around there, there was a station called Alkert, which was never replaced. If we have a look here, underneath this arch, look, there you go, it said built in 18. 96. I'm not quite sure what all the rest of it was about. Um, must be some do the construction. So this is where the rail was in 1896. I'm going to walk off around there, see what I can find. Oh, and if we look over there, we have a drained lake, and um, that's a fake castle. Perhaps a subject of another video one day. There's the half of the lake that does have water in, and about here, this is where Alkert station would have been, so not obvious at all that there ever was a station here, but if you're wondering what Alkert is, or what it served, of course there is the zoo, Alkert basically means zoo. So, it was a station for the zoo. The line would have continued on round there to its terminus, let's go and find that. Oh, and there's another trolley bus. Here we are looking across the Pleasant Park and I'm standing on the edge of the Sischain Furju Bath. So this is one of the thermal baths in Budapest. I did visit this one quite a few years ago. Lovely Baroque building. Now, somewhere down there, that about basically here, is, I understand, or around here anyway, is where the surface station was, the original terminus of Metro Line 1. Now just over there, can we see it? Um, through there, you can actually see that M there. That is the current station, that's the more modern station on the 1973 alignment, which starts just beyond Hossocktir, runs under here, and then continues one more stop to Mexico. So what we're going to do, we're going to go down there, we'll have a look and see what the newer stations are like, and then we'll continue on to the end of the line. Here we are, inside one of the 1973 built stations. It's only this one in Mexico. Oot. As you can see, it's, it's still got a charm. It's not quite as charming as you know, the older stations. I think there's a train coming in the opposite direction, heading towards the city centre. So we'll see that arrive. Then our train should arrive, take us to the end at Mexico. Oot. Here we go. Yeah, I can just see it coming round the corner. Here we are, Mexico, Oops, our train goes off to the siding and we'll shoot full train back towards the centre. So this is the other station on the 1973 alignment and as I say it is the end of the line. It was quite funny a moment ago, it was heaving. The train I was on, it didn't film inside, it was packed with commuters. I understand here there's a few trolley bus routes and tram routes which start here, so although it's the end of the metro line, many commuters will continue their journey. Interestingly, the other part of the line had a lot of tourists on it. Don't get so many tourists coming to this part of the line. Already the next train I think is coming in. I can just I can hear the sound of another train. I think between here and Sestjain Furdu must be the longest distance between two stations on the line. As I said further back they were pretty much every corner of a mile. 
here comes another train, but this one was just a little bit further, probably not even a mile. You know. This one isn't quite as busy as the train I was on. The train I was on was really busy. I think they really called it these trains. <laughs> They actually have their traction motors, I think, in there, so you've got like um, a shared bogey between the carriages. But I think they're, they're charming little trains. What I thought we'll do now, though, we're going to go upstairs. And uh, one other thing we haven't seen on this video is the depot. You're probably wondering where they're maintained. Um, you might just, yeah, it's not easy to see, but I can just see a bit of daylight. So just beyond there, there is the one and only above ground section of this line, but in a bit like a similar fashion to the Victoria line in London, there's only one part of this line above ground. Look, here's a, here's a plaque. This must be commemorating that opened in 1973. Oh, and uh, one other thing, it's overhead. You can just see the tiny little pantograph there. So it's overhead, this one. All other Budapest Metro lines are third rail. Oh, this is a very... Uh, Concrete and uh, roofless. I haven't been here for such a long time. It's um, trying to remember when I last came here, or at least 10 years ago. And uh, oh, from one um, form of urban transit to another, here we have on the tram routes. Now, this tram here, this is an ex Hanover tram. So they had quite a few ex Hanover stud barns. So it's like in Germany, they have stud barns, like a cross between a tramway and the metro. Oh, and over there, that's the main line. And there's a trolley bus. So we've got quite a lot of, can we go up here? Um, interestingly, they're manning the station. Um, that lady there in the high-vis, she'll check people's tickets. So they're manning the station as, you know, like it's got a ticket barrier, even though really it's a tram stop. So that's on Route 69. I think I've done that one. Also, Route 3 starts here. Route 3 is quite an interesting route. It's one of the longest. And then, um, as promised, here, is the depot so somewhere oh there's a vehicle there um somewhere the line comes up above ground and this is the depot it looks like they've got a turning loop should they need to turn any of the trains around as i said this is mexico Oops. what we'll do we'll walk up here we're allowed to oh, there's another another one coming in and as i said we've got the adjacent railway line there um it's like they're dueling for who goes over the crossover first yeah. I thought we'll walk up here, watch a tram go, and then um, that concludes our exploration of the oldest metro line in mainland Europe. What's going to happen? Oh, I see. Those passengers, that one's disgorged its passengers there. Um, so that's what's going on. There's another one already coming up behind it. I'm just going to walk past all these commuters going the other way. Um, and then we might see a little bit more of the depot, but I think I've pretty much shown you everything I can. So here we are, ex Hanover Stad Barn. Sometimes you can actually see, I've noticed inside, you can see they still have their Hanover numbers inside, which I think is quite interesting. Oh, and here, look, it, there's also an entrance from the tram line into the depot. So it is fully connected to the tram line, interestingly, um, which, you know, isn't so common to have metro lines and tram lines connected don't think we're going to see a train on the main line and not a lot else seems to be happening of course in the UK you'd never just get a walk across the track like I just did can I hear a main line train I really want to finish with a main line train going past perhaps I'll wait and see one but anyway I hope you enjoyed this video so if you're in Budapest do come and ride this fascinating metro line when you get to the end you can go for a tram bash which is what I might do so please do feel free to like subscribe and comment and from Mexico to the end of metro line one with an ex Hanover tram. Goodbye.